I figured out the best way to query a Kafka topic with SQL. Bonus points, you can publish any SQL query as a REST API. Check it out. First, let me start at the Kafka broker. I've just got this running on port 9092 of my machine. There's also a little producer script running on the Kafka network. And if we watch the demo topic, you can actually see those messages coming in. So I'm going to use TinyBird to query my Kafka topic with SQL. And I have a local version of TinyBird running. So let me connect it to my local Kafka network so those two Docker containers can chat. Now, let's define a TinyBird connection for my Kafka broker. So I can just TB connection create Kafka, give it a name, and then check out the file it creates. I'm going to make some changes. For instance, I'll update the bootstrap server, security mechanism, and the default username and password. This is using the type of secrets API, which is basically just a way to store environment variables in your TinyBird environment. So when I deploy this to the cloud, I can set those variables to point things at my production Kafka server. Now I'll create a data source from that connection, which basically maps a Kafka consumer to a database table in Tiber. And Tiber gave me a sample schema, but for now, I'm just going to drop all the data from the consumer into a single column called data with a string data type. And now we're ready to deploy. I now have a Kafka data source on Tiber local, and it should be consuming messages from my Kafka topic. Let's query it with some SQL to find out. So I'll just TVSQL select count from Kafka data and great. Have some rows. Let's see what one of them looks like with select star from Kafka data limit one. So we see I have a few JSON objects here. It's a little tough to parse, but I have an order ID, a status, customer, some other stuff. Let's count the number of orders by status. So that's just select JSON extract string, a status, count them up from Kafka data, group by status, order by C descending. And there you go. And this is great because unlike KSQL or some of these other stream processing SQL abstractions for Kafka, TinyBird will maintain the entire message history for as long as I need it. So I can query over real-time data and historical data all at once. No bounded time windows. Here's the best part. I can turn this SQL query into a REST API. So I'm just going to create a pipe file. I'm going to give it a brief description. And then I'll create a node and define that SQL. And then I'm going to save it and redeploy. Now that it's deployed, I can get that endpoint URL as a curl command for the API, paste it, and boom, that's the API response. Now this API is running on my local machine, but deploying to the cloud is as easy as appending the cloud flag to my deploy command, and I can use that API in any application I'm developing on top of this Kafka.